X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, XPS, also known as electron spectroscopy for chemical analysis, is a technique for analyzing a material surface chemistry. XPS can measure elemental composition as well as the chemical and electronic state of the atoms within a material. Furthermore, X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy is one of the standard tools for surface characterization. XPS spectra are obtained by irradiating a solid surface with a beam of X-rays and measuring the kinetic energy of electrons that are emitted from the top 1 until 10 nanometers of the material. The photoelectron spectrum is recorded by counting ejected electrons over a range of kinetic energies. The energies and intensities of the photoelectron peaks enable identification and quantification of all surface elements except hydrogens. UPS. What is UPS? UPS is ultraviolet photoelectron spectroscopy, refers to the measurement of kinetic energy spectra of photoelectrons emitted by molecules which have absorbed ultraviolet photons in order to determine molecular orbital energies in the valence region. So, ultraviolet photoelectron spectroscopy operates on the same principle as XPS. Now, let's see the difference between UPS and XPS. Firstly, UPS measures the molecular orbital energies while XPS monitoring the kinetic energies of the ejected electrons. Next, UPS sources have the ability to excite co-energies while XPS sources do not allow for the study of the finer structures of valence bands. Lastly, in ups by the photoelectron spectrum of any given molecules which contains a number of peaks and each of these peaks corresponds to a valence region energy level of an orbital or shell while in XPS, a portion of the energy is lost. Only the electrons within the top 1 until 10 nanometers of the surface can be sampled. Basically, the instruments of XPS are SIMS analyzer, sample introduction chamber, X-ray source, and ion source. XPS works by irradiating atoms of a surface of any solid material with X-ray while simultaneously measuring the kinetic energy and number of electrons that escape from the top 1 until 10 nanometers of the material being analyzed. The XPS is controlled by using a computer system. The instrument uses different pump system to reach the goal of an ultra-high vacuum UHV environment. The ultra-high vacuum environment will prevent contamination of the surface and aid an accurate analysis of the sample. This is the diagram of a basic typical PES instrument used in UPS where the radiation source is an UV light source. When the sample is irradiated, the release photoelectrons pass through the lens system, which slows them down before they enter the energy analyzer. The analyzer shown is a spherical deflection analyzer, which the photoelectrons pass through before they are collected at the collector's lead. Okay, thank you, Hazira, for the explanation on our introduction. Uh, so, for my part, I'm I'm going to explain about the working principle of XPS and UPS. Now, I will explain about the basic principle for the XPS and UPS. Before I jump to the basic principle, uh, I would like to explain about the photoelectric effect that were introduced by Einstein in 1905, where photoelectric effect actually a phenomenon when a particular electron magnetic radiation is uh, impacting a surface, then the electrons are ejected from the surface. Photoelectron spectroscopy is an experimental technique that used to determine the relative energy of electrons in atoms and molecules. Uh, it applied the photoelectric effect and studied the electro electronic structure in the material itself and often used for elemental composition of materials to characterize the bonding in the molecule. Next, I will explain the working principle of X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy or XPS. XPS reveals which chemical elements are present at the surface and the nature of the chemical bond that exists between these elements. It can detail all of the elements except hydrogen and helium. However, at UHV, ultra-high uh, voltage pressure, it takes hours before a sample significantly degrades, thus enabling the accurate surface interrogation using XPS. The process only occurs at the top of a few atom layers of materials such as heterogeneous catalysts, uh, adsorptions, corrosion, and additions. Uh, examples 
of XPS instrument is ultra high vacuum system, uh, electron analyzer, and ion gun. Electrons are bonded very weakly with the nucleus. They can be ejected with low energy radiation, uh, such as ultra high ultraviolet light and the instrument uh, which use UV light as sources. While to eject the initial electron, we need a very high energy radiation which is, is only available in X-rays. Uh, there are two types of X-rays that are very common which is magnesium K-alpha and aluminum K-alpha. Only one source can emit both radiation uh, which is the extra source that made of box of the metal tube. At the end of the tip, uh, it has two surfaces which is one side is coated with the magnesium and another side is coated with the aluminium. Then the two filaments are placed. When current are supplied to the filament, it gets heated, then started to emit the electron. The electron that collides with the coated surface will be applying high voltage around 20 kV and produce X-ray. So if you need a radiation of K-alpha, we have to heat the filament from the aluminum side. If you want a higher resolution, any sources in is needed, which has a narrow line width. When X-ray hits the sample, it ejects the electron and there is partial positive charge is induced on the surface and it is called charging of sample. To nullify this effect, the sample needs to be always in the ground. Moving to the next one is the day lenses. The lenses is to collect the emitted electron uh, which are focus of the entrance slit, entrance slit of the analyzer lens and slit system. Then, we have the analyzer. Most of the commercial XPS instrument having hemispherical analyzer. Generally, the ejected electron travels in a straight line, but when they enter the hemispherical analyzer, the electrons are attracted from positive electron uh, are attracted from positive electron and repul repulsion from the negative electrode. Due to this electric field, the straight line of the electron path are bended in the direction of the electrode. The electron with high velocity of kinetic energy will be bended to lesser extent and collide with the outer wall of the path. To scan the electron by the kinetic energy, electrons that coming out from the exit slit are millitube tube. Therefore, the number of electrons are counted and the kinetic energy of electrons are sent to the computer. Next, we will move to the second one which is the UPS. Uh, they stand for ultraviolet photoelectron spectroscopy. It operates on the same principle as uh, the XPS. The only difference being uh, the ionizing radiation at energies of 10 seconds of electron work are used to induce the photoelectric effect as opposed to photons of greater than 1 kilo electron volt that are used in XPS. In the laboratory setting, ultraviolet photons are produced using a gas discharge lamp, typically filled with helium, although other gases such as Agar and union cannot be used. The ultraviolet radiation used in UPS is typically uh, obtained using a helium source which has a rather high wavelength uh, and therefore a low photon energy. The ultraviolet radiation beam cannot get to the energy level with high energy uh, and causes only the valence electron to be emitted. This makes UPS good for obtaining information about the bonding characteristics and details of the valence electrons. UPS is a, is a powerful technique to examine a molecular electron structure since we are interested in the molecular orbital from polyatomic molecules. In UPS, the photon interacts with valence levels of molecule or solid, leading to ionization by removal of one of these valence electrons. The kinetic energy distribution of the emitted photoelectrons, uh, for example, the number of emitted photoelectrons as function of their kinetic energy, uh, can be measured using any appropriate electron energy an analyzer and a photoelectron spectrum can thus be recorded. Um, figure above is a basic typical uh, instrument used in UPS where the radiation source is a UV light source. When the sample is uh, irradiated, uh, it releases the photoelectrons pass through the lens system which slows them down before uh, they enter the energy analyzer. The analyzer is shown a spherical deflection analyzer which the photoelectron pass through before they are collected at the collector slit. Uh, modern UPS instruments are now capable of studying solids. The photoelectron produced are passed through a slit into a vacuum region where they are then deflected by magnetic or electrostatic field to give an energy spectrum. UPS is sensitive to the very near surface region which can up to around 10 nanometer in depth. And as we can see from the slide, here is the differences between the XPS and UPS. XPS use soft X-ray uh, with a photon energy of 200 to 1000 electron volt. 
uh, while UPS using vacuum UV radiation with photon energy from 10 to 45 electron volt only to examine electrons in valence level. The radiation source of UPS is gas discharge discharge lamp with the typical one being an helium discharge lamp operating at uh, 58.4 nanometer which corresponds to 21.2 electron volt of kinetic energy. However, XPS has a choice between a monochromatic beam of a few microns or an unfocused non-chromatic beam of a couple centimeter. Although they are very advanced, uh, they also have a few limitations for their system. Because SPS is a surface technique, there are limited amount of organic information that SPS can provide. Uh, XPS is limited to measurement of elements having atomic numbers of 3 or greater, making it unable to detect hydrogen or helium. Uh, SPS spectra also take a long time to obtain. The use of monochromator can also reduce the time per experiment. The limitation for UPS uh, UPS is capable only for ionizing valence electrons, which limits the range and depth of the UPS surface experiment. Conventional UPS has relatively poor resolution. To conclude, photoelectron spectroscopy PES utilizes photoionization and analysis of the kinetic energy distribution of the emitted photoelectrons to study the composition and electronic state of the surface region of a sample. And there are two types of photoelectron spectroscopy that are discussed in these videos. First is X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy XPS that are used uh, soft X-ray with a photon energy of 200 until 2000 electron volt to examine electrons in core levels. And ultraviolet photoelectron spectroscopy UPS that using vacuum UV radiation with a photon energy of 10 until 45 electron volt to examine electrons in valence shells.